Scott McFeeders from Gothenburg, Nebraska, and um, the vehicle I first drove is the Pug Frontier 4x4, and um, I would probably use this on the farm as a uh, go around and check livestock pastures or possibly uh, setting water for irrigation, and um, you know it might be it might be used some for fun, but mostly probably for transportation and work. This vehicle looks to me like it fits uh, squarely in the middle. It's not necessarily a really heavy hauler. It's not necessarily a, a sport and uh, go go incredibly fast. It is uh, just in the middle transportation and uh, does some hauling. A couple things I really like are the the ease of entry and exit. The 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 floor the threshold is low, and so it's easy to get in and out of. And um, the the four wheel drive didn't seem to affect. Uh, the handling much. When I put in the four-wheel drive it was still uh, very maneuverable and I also like the the fact that it has a tilt steering wheel. Uh, a little easier for bigger guys to get in and out of there. I guess it has a couple of good sturdy storage areas. One under the seat and one under the front hood uh, is one of the things I liked about it is the more storage and it's right underneath here. You can pull it up and if you're in a situation where you um, aren't using the seat belts, they tuck down out of the way. It's just a small trip. Uh, that's something else that I really liked about it is it has resettable breakers right here. And most of the rest of them are fuses. And if you don't have an extra fuse or you don't have a fuse, you have to start improvising. But this is really nice where you just push the, push the circuit breaker and reset it. It looks like right now they might have some work to do with positioning of like the pedals on the floor. The brake is a long ways from the accelerator and so I kind of missed it a few times. And also the, the park brake is a little hard to apply and release. And so just some of the small, uh, I guess I'd say creature features or creature comforts, how they operate. And so uh, also I think there's probably gonna need to be more s travel in their springs and um, possibly a different rear suspension. It has leaf springs now, and those are a little bit hard to have a lot of load carrying ability and still have spring travel. And so I would say probably just a few touch-ups in the engineering. The transmission seems to work good and it has plenty of power to go. I stopped on a steep hill and went up and it just crawled right on up there. Mm -hmm.